Hello and welcome to my learning session about design patterns. First about of me. My name is Alexander. I'm a freelancer I, out of Germany. Here you have my contact information. I should mention my services which I provide to my clients. Software development, creating automatic unit test, requirements engineering and uh, consulting services which I provide to my clients. And I help some people to get hired for the permanent position at German companies. So let's just go to the main agenda of the topic. It is all about design pattern name state. So this pattern I got from the book Design Patterns, Head First Design Patterns and the Code 2. If you if this is not an advertisement, so I just need to mention it as a reference. So basically the book describes this pattern. Uh, they present the example as uh, as as gumball. It is a machine where you put the coin and then you take the product, which is a gum, which you can chew if you if you're interested. So and definitions state is. A design pattern which allow an object to alter its behavior when its internal state changes. The object will appear to change its class. Another book definition. With a state pattern we have a set of behaviors encapsulated in the state objects. At any time the context is delegating to one of, the, of those states. Okay, another definition. The state pattern allows an object to alter its behavior when its internal state changes. The object will appear to change its class. And as I understand, state is non different as following. You have a class from which you inherit some methods, I actually handle, handle, and this implemented inherited classes, I mean child classes, they have the handle and this handle can be pretty different. It, you can override actually this handle. And then you have additional class contacts which actually use main state. But in the book they are describing this Kumball automat we, for which you need to create a solution. The book describes different states of this automat and they continue from simple example to going to more advanced where you connect your machine to the internet and from the internet you get things like IoT stuff, Internet of Things. So I present pretty simple example which is here in my code. Let's just let's um, look it up. State pattern test. Okay. And there I have state pattern example. Let's go through the test. And it's another example how tests are good to understand such stuff. So I am I'm instantiating all of the needed objects from the classes which you see here and then I just do 60, 46 times I call this method which just put following put the quarter turn crank got the message once again 46 times so and I make sure that I can actually create the classes let run first the execute test method so let's just see what we get okay let's look at the output so you see here at the beginning I put 100 gum balls then operation happens you inserted a quarter, you turned, a gumball comes rolling out of the slot. And this happens like 46 times and you always see the change of the amount of the gumballs. I would 
just scroll this to the down pretty a lot and each time finally I see the inventory is now zero gumballs so how I actually uh, did it did it implement it and let's look it up the code state actually this is the code so you have uh, no, no, not the template state. Okay, have your gamble machine has quarter state, no quarter state, sold out state, sold state, state. State is an interface. Sold state implements the state, and it's pretty obvious what here happening. Here I am storing the state of sold items okay and sold out state this state I need to produce when I have no more gumballs then I have no quarter state and here pretty obvious that this is a class from which when you create the instance it will be responsible for no quarter state has quarter state okay here I just need to have my stuff and here I, wo I work with this class with instance of this class only when I have quarter and who decide what what kind of states to produce it is all, all about all, all dependencies then on gumball machine it has a, has a relationship it instantiate this the needed states and then you clearly see uh, how it works okay so basically pretty obvious and I should mention that from all of from all of what I have seen what I have seen here about the state pattern it's it's kind of obvious you have states actual states which define the state of this uh, machine represent the state of this machine and only one class is responsible for decision what kind of sense to call uh, possible uh, problems if you have too too many states too many different states and if you cannot clear, cleanly separate them from one, each other or later in your project development you add additional behavior to your states then it can cause potential problems because if you don't do it cleanly you will have technical debt at the end of the day and the best approach I, I always advise to write the test tests give you um, a lot of good things assurances like first documentation and Additionally, it verifies that what you have written actually happens. Uh, disadvantage of this pattern, I say, you need cleanly, as I said earlier, you need clean, cleanly separate your implementations of the state. And if you have pretty rapid requirements changing, then it can cause uh, potential problems because if you have some states which have not predefined predefined behavior which you have seen here in my example then you should think once again if such pattern make sense in your case um, in the projects which I had done previously I don't so this pattern anyway and <clears throat> most times it's not I don't think that this such has so much advantage to use it in the enterprise project I mean this pattern state pa state pattern uh, where probably it would make sense where you have embedded devices or smart home where you need to work in such way or I don't know if you have embedded device which need to have predefined states 
then it probably this then it will be probably the right pattern for you. But I have I did not saw that such pattern too much in my field of work. So have, here you go. Another design patterns. I sorry that I bubbled through, but uh, I think the code you will find on my GitHub, as I said earlier in previous videos. And I think that's it from my side, and I hope you learned something. Thank you.